Ah. Well, welcome back to Anesty Games. Today's topic uh, is probably going to be about... Uh, yeah, I don't even know. But I was going to talk about college at first, which I uh, had my first day of college today, and it went well. So, uh, I mean, I uh, talked to an old friend, and it was quite nice. So, uh, but other than that, it was pretty simple. I had only three classes. Uh, two of them are in the same room. And uh, it was pretty simple as I said, and so I didn't think that would be uh, the most interesting topic, because there's not much to talk about, uh, but I thought I would get into something that uh, I think I've touched on a little bit before uh, in a previous video, but I'm not 100% sure, and I I guess I just don't uh, feel like going back and watching uh, it again. So, uh, yeah, those people are loud and annoying. <laughs> but, um, you know, I have Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, multiplayer gameplay here. Uh, I'm playing Domination. First on Fallen, the map, and then s the second match. Uh, actually, this entire video is on this one map, so that's what we got here. Uh, I actually got a full match this time. And I uh, did uh, not so well. Uh, I think we lost. But anyway, into the topic. The topic today is yet another religion topic. Uh, it's one of the main fo uh, focal points of an SDTV, if you're not aware. Uh, I think it's, it's fairly obvious. Uh, but it's about Christianity, uh, naturally. And actually, really, religion in general. Uh, and like I said, I think I've touched on this a bit before, but um, really, I uh, I don't think I touched on it in, in much depth, or really talked about what I think uh, ab about it. And that is uh, denominations. Um, so in Christianity, you have all these different denominations. Uh, for example, in Protestant, well, for one, you have Roman Catholic, Eastern Orthodox, uh, and then you have Protestant, uh, which can be split into Presbyterian, Methodist, Lutheran, uh, Anglican, Pentecostal, let's just say, uh, the Charismatic, non-denominational, um, Anabaptist, uh, things like that. So, I was uh, reading an article just now about uh, about it, um, and the title is "Why Are There So Many Christian Denominations?" Um, and, and I'm not really going to dive too much into that article itself, but there's an interesting point in it uh, that one reason for uh, the existence of so many denominations would be uh, this says disparity in personality passions and talents uh, which makes sense because you're not going to have uh, everybody with the same interests I have exactly the same interests so that's true I wouldn't see how it necessarily uh, ties into Christianity itself because Christianity is a religion and I mean the style of worship the uh, what how should we baptize when and where as well as what uh, vestments and this the, the, the structure of the liturgy, if you will, things like that, and so in Protestantism there's a very wide difference uh, that's not found in Catholic or Orthodox the churches, so 
what I really wanted to ask was, is there a true or truest denomination out there? So that's the question. I don't know what uh, you all think, um, because for one, I don't know who all views these videos exactly. I, I have an idea, and um, uh, it's just an interesting thing. If you're a Christian, what denomination are you and why would be my first question. Also, do you think it's uh, it's special and that's why you're a part of it or you raised that way or you just like the particular church, whatever it may be, that would be my question. And really, I don't know if there's a good answer to this. Uh, this other question of, well, the, of the one of, is there a true denomination or the truest denomination? And to me, that it's too confusing to try to answer. I don't think you're going to find uh, a, a solid answer besides some churches say we're the true church or blah blah blah, you know. We're the apostolic faith that has followed the teachings of the apostles uh, since the apostles or whatever it may be. Apostolic succession is what they would call that. And so a few churches claim this, Roman Catholic, the Orthodox Church, Anglic the Anglican Communion, uh, I have read, claims it as well. Now, I think it's a lesser emphasized thing, however, and I don't think the Anglican Church as a whole would be so exclusive as compared to Catholics. Although, then again, I don't think many Catholics themselves are very exclusive. Although the magisterium of the church, the leaders, I th think is what is very exclusive. from In many ways, not just we're the true church. Uh, but anyway, those three churches uh, claim apostolic succession. I think that there are newer churches, if you will, uh, that, and I'm speaking of charismatic movement uh, type churches, I don't think they would claim apostolic succession, but there uh, definitely is a restoration, uh, restorationist type idea in a lot of, in fact, there are, a lot of churches are called restorationist. Uh, in fact, there's a movement of restorationism and that simply means that they believe that they have found the most original faith by restoring Christianity as they see it back to what the first Christians would uh, believe and practice which kind of for one, I don't think anyone knows exactly what it looked like, uh, worship style and stuff. I think there's a pretty good idea, but uh, to say that this um, the Restorationist movement has 100% gone back is kind of silly. I would be more inclined to believe that the Catholic or Orthodox have just continued that tradition, which... I lean towards the idea that orthodoxy has, in some way, or always, retained the faith, or the original faith, but I'm making this video because of doubts about that even. I'm just asking the question uh, and diving into denominations, so, Ooh. um, yeah, so, have has anyone found the original faith? I don't know. Uh, has is there still a church that, for example, orthodoxy that has just continued the faith from the beginning through apostolic succession? I don't know. I can't say 100% either way, uh, unless Christ comes down from heaven or and says one way or the other. We we I don't know if we can honestly know, and that's where the confusion comes in. Um, 
for me, it's just too confusing, I think, most of the time. And so I have to stop thinking about it, but uh, making videos helps, I think. Now, the one thing that always seems to really just settle it, and I was trying to shoot my teammate there, um, anyway, that tries to, that settles it, is believing, uh, personally, that if you believe in Jesus Christ, you are a Christian just as much as anyone else, and you are saved, you know, faith alone, and then scripture alone, but we know how sola scriptura, what that turns into, it turns into all these denominations. So, part of me wants to believe in the soli, the solas, and just have faith and don't think about it too much, and then the other part of me wants to not and figure out the true church and the most original faith and all that. So, you know, I, I, I can't say 100%, and I, that'd be silly to say one way or the other at this point, um, and it's it hurts my brain but I thought I would talk about it because a college is fun but it's not uh, not that um, exciting yet I haven't, I haven't talked about any material I already have homework but you know <laughs> first day some reading to do and that's it uh, I would talk about music and stuff. I, I, what can you say about music? Uh, I don't. Th I can like music, but I can't talk about it that much, and that's kind of the problem. Um, to devote a whole channel to music, if you're not singing or playing an instrument, is silly. Now I have a nesty music for that reason because I like peaceful tones. And, uh, yeah, so for now we'll talk about other things. Um, but, you know, I I can't say I have it all figured out because I don't. I want to, I'm trying, but, um, I don't know. Well, I have some ideas, but, uh, I can't say for, sh for sure, one way or another. And, uh... Yeah. So that's really about it. I uh, enjoy the last like, forty seconds of this um, gameplay, I guess. Cause that's it. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.